Hey guys, Doug here, back with another uh, Christmas carving video. One of a few this year, actually. Uh, you remember years past, we did Bob's Bob's Simple Santa Carving, Larry's Christmas Tree. I think last year we did a Christmas Pickle. Remember that? I don't know if there's any more, but uh, we're going to start adding more to the, uh, the Christmas carving this year. And uh, this year I want to do something still maintaining the beginner level from just a block of wood with just a knife. But I wanted to give a few little extra things, whereas the Simple Santa might not have had. And uh, what I came up with was uh, a Santa Claus holding a toy bag, as you can see here. I spent a, a good week of uh, my free time. I've got Santa corpses all over the house here, trying to come up with a design that was simple and just utilizes a piece of wood. This piece of wood is an inch and a half square, five inches tall, and it's basswood, which is lime, linden, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, so with just my Helvey knife, we carved this and uh, yeah, I hope you like it. So what I recommend is uh, if you're new to this, go back and watch the beginner intro to uh, wood carving videos that I have to get you going so you don't have to ask questions on how, how I'm doing things. I have a whole series of introduction to wood carving. But I recommend, I think I was a little bit rushed in this video or I felt I felt a little rushed, I always do on camera, but uh, there's many little things that you can dress up this carving and make it a little bit better, but I recommend watching it through once and then when you go back to uh, when you go back to uh, do a carving, then you can just pause and stop as you go. So without further ado, here's the video. All right, we've got our block of wood here and something a little bit different on this one is we're going to uh, be working off of the corner on this one so the face is actually on the corner so not a lot of measurements on here but let's just start out by uh, doing one inch and an inch and a half on the front here all right so one inch inch and a half take that inch and a half to each corner all right and then from that one inch we're going to draw a little angle up to the uh, the outside corner all right now I stopped short on carving this guy here just so you can see what these lines are going to end up being. So that is the bottom of the arms, that line. And this is basically the top of the, uh, the flopped over bag here. Okay. Going up to the uh, sides here, we're going to go three inches just to this uh, shoulder cut right there. So we're going to mark three inches on both sides. Alright, mark three inches, and then on one side, we're going to keep an extra half inch, even maybe five eighths, above that, and we're going to save some room for the pom pom. See the pom pom? Just on one side. So we're going to reserve this little bit of real estate here for a pom pom, but otherwise, that's the shoulder cut in. All right. And then the bottom of the nose here, right there, this cut. It's going to go up three and a quarter from the bottom. All right. And right off the bat, we're just going to dive right in. We're going to cut that bottom of the nose straight in. And that nose will never change now. All right. On this side here, we're just going to do a V cut around that three inch. Both sides, just so we don't lose our marks and just to keep everything in proportion now. Same thing on this side, but this here, we can take that up. Let's lose that whole point on that corner. All right. All right. This side here, since it's a pom-pom, I'm going to come in straight from the bottom. All right. And straight on the top. And again, like we did on this side, let's take that corner up there. There, see that? Now, on the bottom, we're going to take this line here. I'm just going to come in straight with that line. And we're just going to work up to it. And that's just where the, the toy bag is going to curl under the arm. Same on this side here. In here, all right, and that's 
where we're at. Okay. So we can uh, take the top of that little flap there. We can put one straight cut in there. Come down to it. This will all be fine tuned after the fact, but I'm just getting everything where we want it. And we can flatten out. This is all going to be beard. So we can flatten that right off of there. All right. Okay. Now, since we're here already, we can just take that line and work that across just to mark the bottom of the, the arms and the toy bag. Right. Same thing on this side. If you're new to this uh, wood carving business, I have a whole series of getting started and cuts and safety and whatnot. And you'll notice I don't have a safety glove on, and I should, I'm sure. But that's my choice, so safety glove is a good idea. There's our bottom of the arms. Now we can just draw in however big we want to have that uh, little flap here. And we can just cut that in like that. Alright. Just kind of getting everything roughly positioned and uh, going from there. We can take the whole back corner off if we want to now. Don't really need to do this, but it makes it holding on to a little bit nicer without that big point on the back. But there's going to be a lot of wood removed still. Alright. Okay. Now, this is the bottom of the nose. And as you can see, from this one here, and this one here, we want that whole head coming back. See that? It's quite a quite a bit taken off. So let's bring that hole from the bottom of the nose. Let's just take some wood off of there before we continue on. I want us to get that pom-pom set into, but for now, we'll just take some of this front wood off here. Okay, just like so. Now, on the side of the pom-pom, let's just kind of chunk that out too. Let's put a couple cuts here. We'll fine tune it all after, of course. But as long as we know where that's going to be, it's going to make it a lot easier. All right. Come on. Good. Good enough. So there, if we had put a line on our centers, which we didn't, but if we had, the top of that hat, we're actually already coming back from this side, and we're a little bit back of center, okay? So let's just have at it, and not quite to the shoulder, but... Just chunking off this wood here. All the sides around. Try not to shake the camera. Keep my elbows off the table. See that? While we're working away. A little bit more in here and just as we're approaching the center mark here I'm just going to take this across a little bit all right and so I came across to center this one here I'm just going to come up a little bit to the side all right. and back to our pom-pom here it's going to give that a little bit of a little bit of shape for rounding it. And then we're 
going to uh, draw the little part that's kind of flopped over like that. And again, still in the roughing in stages. But we're going to go from there. We'll just go a little bit wider. Alright. Something like that. All right. We'll just bring that right down. Nice deep cut. Come back on this side. There we go. See that? Same thing on the back. This is important to get set in early because everything is going to work off the face. All right. There we go. Just roughed in. Nothing's final. Just nice to know where it goes. All right. Okay. As far as the arms go, we're just going to take these arms. Not. To, I don't want to bring them all the way up to the shoulder yet, but it is nice to take that little uh, that little cut out of there and bring it up to this stage. All right. So I'm just going to stick my knife in here. As deep as I can. We don't want to make this cut too many times because that's when you start getting all those uh, extra little lines in your wood and it looks kind of crappy. So if you can do it once or clean it up on your second pass then it's a lot neater than doing it several times over and over again. All right but it's gonna see that V cut there. Or I'm going to come down, pop that out. All right. And again, just establishing where the arms actually are going to be. That did not pop out, so I'll go at it again until it does. All right. A little cleanup. But again, this is not... Uh, not the final pass, just roughing it in. Alright. I'm doing exactly what I said not to do. Okay. That's where we're at. Take some of the meat off of this. Round it a bit. Okay, good enough for now. We'll be cutting there. Okay. You can see on this guy how the uh, toy bag is all rounded. So we can go ahead on here and just start rounding away. We don't have an end point on the back yet, but in the meantime we can we can round this all over. And it's important to uh, always think about these little flat areas that you might have. They haven't been cut, so they'll accept paint different. So it's always important, even if it doesn't need it, just to take a little slice of wood off there, because uh, a sliced wood will take stains and wood stains and paints just a little bit differently. All right. And 
this part here. I'm just going to bring that back. All right. Bring that down a bit. Undercut that just a little bit. Again, rough, but take your time. Um, what we're going to do here too is uh, what we've got is we've got a glove and a cuff. All right. So the glove, the look is it's going. The glove is going behind and holding that toy bag, right? And then the cuff. Okay, so we don't really have to even worry too much about the glove because it's supposedly over half of it's hidden. So let's just separate all these uh, things here. Cuff is going to be forward of the glove. Glove is going to go below the top of that bag. Just gonna take a little cut out of there. And the same with the bottom. Around that cuff a little bit. Alright. Now just for time's sake, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that on the other side. But you can see how that cuff is raised. And we'll texture that at the end. And that's the glove. All right. Maybe while we're here, we'll just uh, give a little wrinkle, a crease here. Let me take that corner off. All right. And like I said before, just take a little slice off all that wood that hasn't been uh, cut with a knife. give it a couple of wrinkles of in the bottom of that little bag just to show that it's kind of lopped over laying there and say hello to the train all right and that is basically the hands okay so we've got our little cuff glove top of the bag fold it over okay I'm gonna do the other side okay so this is where we're at right now let me show you something here the reason I didn't go up all the way to the shoulders is that I want that beard to come right down like that all right on both sides here and I'll show you why on my I got a couple of rejects over here See how I got that, the, the beard comes up in between, and I just don't like it. I like that fuller, fuller beard, like on this fellow over here. Same with this one here. It starts, it squeezes it in, and I would rather, much rather have a nice bigger beard here. So I'm just going to come down, just kind of with the beard, and just kind of cut that in. See that? Just kind of with the beard. Same idea here. Just a little slice. Not too much. Well, like I said, we'll probably fine tune it again after, but I just think that's a little bit nicer than trying to squeeze it between. And now we can have a nice big full beard. Right? So. so that's what we're going to do. All right. pom-pom all right let's carry
carry on. Let's go around that a little bit. Okay. As it keeps playing. Keep playing. Can't let it can't let it go. Alright. Where are we at? Let's go to the back here. And uh back of the arms. I'm gonna draw a little line here. I'm gonna take that line from the shoulders and I'm gonna bring that right down here. And we're gonna make one big cut all the way down. So that's gonna end that line is gonna end our toy bag and set our shoulders. So I'm just gonna go up that one big nice and deep cut here. And again, I'll just do one side and then I'll do the other side on my own. I'm just going to slice that down. Nice. Look at that. Deep cut. All right. So now I'm going to bring my arm into that. And the toy bag up under the arm now. And now I can uh, round that toy bag. If you wanted to at home, you could take that whole shape. If you wanted a larger toy bag, you could have uh, just cut that inch and a half out of the center and leave an extra half inch in front if you wanted a larger toy bag. But we're trying to trying to do this easily and quickly for the video's sake. But there's many options you can do, and uh, giving some more girth to that bag would be kind of cool. But I'm just trying to show you the basics and uh, just kind of keep to. As easy as possible, that's what I'm trying to say. Alright, and then we're just going to round that. There, see now we got a, we've got an end to our bag and the back of our, the back of our arm. Alright. Now we can take some of these corners off. Get a little bit of contouring. There we go. There. Move it around that a little bit more. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And then right about the butt level here, we're just going to dip that in a little bit. Around the bottom of that robe, I guess you call it. Yeah, something like that. And you can give a little bottom of the robe. I think I did that on one of these guys. Yeah, see that? Just get a little bit of a bottom edge of the robe. Might as well do that real quick. Into it. Huh. All right, and we'll come up a little bit. Uh, we'll finish the rest of the shoulders after we get the hat in place. All right, well, that's kind of where we're at. Okay, let's go up to the nose here. And that's still the center, so I'm going to take a little angle this way up, angle this way up, making sure that they're kind of even. And it's going to come up about three eighths or so, and just dig it right in there and come down. And the same thing, going to come a little bit of an angle. We're setting the uh, the eyes in place. And then we're going to, uh, that'll help us with our hat after, too. Okay. So I'd like to get that hat down. These cuts here are on that angle, like so. But they're also on this angle. Can you see that? How they're kind of angled back. Angled back, but it's still on an angle. Okay. Let's set our nose in. 
we'll go a little bit bigger to start with. Kind of hooking the hooking the nose in a little bit. Bring it around this a little bit nicer. Just a rough nose here. Okay. Now let's uh, draw the eyes. I don't want them to. I like these eyes. Okay, let's do this again. I got some eye the eyelids on this guy here. And just the open eyes on this guy. And I'm gonna go with these. I like these. A little bit uh, if they're if there's if they're narrow enough, I like to keep them let's keep them a little bit smaller here. So I go upside down. That's right. terrible, but now I know where my hat is going to be, so I'm going to draw a little bottom of the hat right around there. We'll mark it a little bit lower on the back side, come right up around like that. That. We got our hat drawn on there. So before I even get to the eyes here, let's just go and undercut that hat. Kind of a different way of doing it, working from the bottom up, but it works. Because the hat doesn't matter how big the hat can be. If you want to add an extra inch and go an inch taller with the hat, it's all hat from there up. So. You can mix it up and change it any way you like. There, set. Hat is set in place. So before I put on the uh, little fur rim on the hat, I want to make sure that I'm happy with the, the shape overall. And I think I pretty much am. Maybe we'll just put a little deeper cut here. Take a little notch out of there. Give a nice healthy uh, fur rim on that hat. Now I'm only drawing these things for for your benefit. Otherwise, I just run the knife around them. But this helps to illustrate it, I guess. I'm 
not going to worry too much more on that because I'm going to take a little mini gouge and give that fur some texture at the end. So. Good enough. Okay, hat's in place. Like I said, we'll texture the fur after. Let's uh, let's draw on these. Uh, I don't like that there. Seems to me, if I look at that, this side's a little bit narrower than this side. So I gotta clean that up. Get that in a little bit more. I want to keep it as symmetrical as we can. Alright, All right, let's work with that. Okay. We've got our nose here. Let's draw on the mustache. Now, Santa's mustache has to come up. That makes him makes him happier. All right. So let's give him a nice big curled up mustache here. Right. And then I want to carry those. Well, that's as crooked as a dog's hind leg. All right, erase that. Look at the look at the wood, Doug, not the camera. Okay, I'm gonna erase that. Come down again. Okay, that's a little bit better. All right, a little more dip. Okay, wow. It'll all work out. <laughs> Good gravy. Okay, but then from the tip, I want to come down. Alright. See that? And I want, But I want this thinner. So let's just worry about the mustache right now. And I'm going to carve that, uh, that mustache out. Alright. Just put that little mouth in there right away, deep. A little three-corner cut out of there. I'll just kind of undercut. And bring that around. Even if you can't draw, sometimes you can get that, that radius with your knife just by the, the way your knife wants to curl. Alright, so let's undercut that. This side and then come across the top here. Right. So we kind of have that mustache all on its own here. Move that double back. You take a little chip out of the corner of the nose. Get some depth in there. Keep in mind with these eyes and everything, this is a caricature. There's no, there's no attempt at doing realistic uh, carving on this guy. Just gonna try and get that mustache all by itself there. Okay. All right, smoothen that line.
far as the mouth goes. I'm just going to put a little cut. And another cut. Give him a little bottom lip. Come on. Come on. That's it. A little bottom lip. Now, I'm going to take these eyes back out of here. I'm going to draw them a little bit better. Okay. This is my center. That's a little bit better. Now, from the mustache up here, if you look at yourself here, look at me. right here from this. I got sunken face, but my cheekbones stick way out. So I want to come from the basically the top of that mustache on this guy, and I want to sweep it in a little bit, narrow up that that eye area, like take out the. Uh, the temple area. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And that kind of gives you that bit of a fish hook. A little kind of a crooked little line there. A little bit of a, a little bit of a fish hook. I don't know if that makes any sense at all to you, but Makes sense to me. So I'm going to follow that little line. I'm going to take that right out of there. Dig into these eyes. Anytime I do these eyes now, I just kind of put one line in on the bottom, and then I can pop that little corner chip out like that. Same on this side. Start at the bottom. Put that little relief cut. I just stick my point there, I can pop that right out. See? And then come up, follow my line. Very easy eyes. My favorite. Right. Okay. I'm just going to back bevel all these edges just a little bit. It's up to you if you want to separate the eyes or not. I don't think I'm going to myself. But yeah, just like so. There you go. Now, basically, we got to bring this up just a little bit. Just to find the back of the hairline here. Kind of forgot about the back, eh? 
Well, I'm just going to put a cut in here. Come down. Nice and deep. Make the hair all the same here, same angle. We just about got this guy. Right? Looking good. See what I'm saying about that beard though? I love the width rather than trying to narrow it like this corn cob here. He's got this. So, make an effort to get that wider. All right. <laughs> make an effort like you. Just do what I'm doing. That's what I'm saying. All right, bevel that back just a little bit. Gives a bit of an angle. It's a fun little carving. There's no real skill in it. It's just a nice, easy going, straightforward, but I just had to play with it for a while to, to find it. Butt's a little bit high. Always try to keep your edges clean while you're working on it too. Just makes it easier at the end. Okay. going to texture the beard you know how to do that if, if you have a, a V tool or whatnot if you want to texture the uh, the beard and the hair you get the pencil lines off there at least so Doug maybe we'll just give a couple couple planes that gives it a nice look too Yeah, you can, uh, I like those planes, but you can just do scoops with your knife or like I said, take a, take a V tool and, uh, really texture in the hair, you know, but sometimes simple is better too. All right, let's, uh, do a little bit of texturing and finish this fella up. So what I got here is this uh, Dark Works, uh, not Dark Works, Dark Yard. I always say Dark Works. I think I think Dark Works, the old uh, boat building forum, but it's a Dark Yard tool, five millimeter, any kind of little gouge, but I'm just going to go around all the uh, the trims. I'm just going to leave little, little pops. You know, I may go back in the opposite way just to keep them more random. Right. Take off some of the corners. And just give that fur a little, little detailing. I'm gonna do that here. 
do these just the cuffs here I'm gonna do the pom pom up here and then we're done we're done so give me a minute and uh, I'll just clean this all up and I'm gonna go over it clean up any little cuts I always go over like I say clean cuts undercut some areas and uh, yeah see the hair but, yeah so I'm just gonna go around and uh, just finish up all these little trims with the fur and I'll come back and close her off or talk about the painting I right. got these little uh, scotch bright they're not really scotch bright they're kind of a sanding uh, I don't know the proper name for them but I find lately it's nice just to run around if there's any little fuzzy it'll just pop it off what I'm not doing is I'm not trying to sand it to take off any knife marks or faucet facets or anything I'm just running it over just smoothing any of the real like, rough Especially when you use that gouge to make the little trim, there's some little sharp edges. But basically, that's our guy. Now, I'm going to paint him, but not on video. All right. So I'm going to go off and paint him now. If you want to learn how to paint how I paint, I've got a couple uh, videos on painting, so you can go back in the back in the the videos and find find a video on painting. But let me uh, let me just paint him up real quick and then we'll uh we'll close out the video all right guys here's our little santa with his toy bag all painted up didn't get too carried away with the painting and shading and whatnot i just did a basic uh, paint job watered down of course but like i said i have videos on the uh, painting but that's our guy i hope you like this uh curving i think it's a fun little one i think it's uh easy enough for a beginner but it has a little el few elements that make it uh stick out a little bit that uh, looks better than it really is so there you go that's it I got more Christmas carvings coming so uh, you can look forward to that and I just want to say thanks to all the uh, the guys that have bought me a coffee this week in the buy me a coffee uh, uh, program it's uh, it's great I love it it's very encouraging when I get a little notification that someone bought me a coffee so if you bought me a coffee this week I just want to say thanks a million. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, you help keep the channel going. So until the next one, see you guys.